Hello, Gemini. How are you? It is me, Lauren B. with the Untitled Tarot. I'm very happy to have you back in or arriving for the first time, however you find yourself here. Um, I and I want to get into some energy things. There's your reading is very interesting. There's a lot going on. I've actually pulled less cards for you than I normally pull, but it's very multi-layered. There's a lot of music channelings. I got a couple crystals for you. There's a lot of numbers. There's there's a lot going on here. Um, so first and foremost, my back is killing me. So and I, I have a bad back, so it could be like a me thing, but it's like uncharacteristically hurting me right now, specifically like at the bottom of my tailbone. So I think there's some sacral lower chakra work we need to be doing i think there's a lot of shadow energy going on the new moon that we just had in cancer really brought a lot up um we had like a chiron in aries there, there's a lot going on um dealing with shadow sides our egos purging a lot of stuff out um you could just have back pain um but there is a sense that there's something like nagging at you there's something it feels like there's like a weight on your shoulders or like i'm getting like a monkey on your back there's like a monkey on your back so it could be something that's like you can't quite get a grip on or um maybe a bad habit you're trying to break there's there's something going on with that also number wise there's like a lot of stuff going on so i really don't want to forget it um uh you might be seeing a lot of fives you might be seeing a lot of ones like 150 um 15 51 there's a lot of that i mean you're a gemini so you're the second sign you're the twins right so aries is the first so then you would be the second. So you could also be seeing a lot of 11s as well. Um, when I started to do your pre-shuffle and started to pull cards for you um, on my pre-shuffle, I think it's called um, it's called The Shuffle. It's an open playlist. It's public on my uh, channel. You can go check out all the songs. I'm going to try my best to actually link the songs in the description box. I'm going to try my best. Um, the first song that came up was Witchcraft um by uh, the version was by uh, ben lay uncle soul who's a french artist i really love um and then i got like put a spell on you so it feels like you feel like you're under somebody's spell gemini somebody put a spell on you or like it's almost i'm hearing like curse i mean like curse like there's somebody i almost feels like somebody said something to you that like triggered you or bothered you and you like can't get it out of your head there's there's something with that there for you um I did your spread this week with the Wild Unknown Spirit Animal Oracle, mouthful, um, by Kim Kranz. We've used it a lot here on this channel. Um, we used to use it a lot more earlier in the summer. I was very called to do it today. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed, but I've changed. I, I reorganized my desk and everything else. So um, it's like a, I'm hearing like change of scenery. I feel like you guys need or needed a change of scenery. I almost feel as though you you did it already. You felt like you needed a change of scenery and so you implemented that for yourself. And I was setting up my camera and stuff and I was like, normally I film like my camera's like a little bit off to the side, um, but it's like straight on today. It's like head on. So it's like, there is, I feel like an aspect of you that wants to deal with something just like head on, like straight ahead. Um, so that's what's going on there. So um, what with when I do the wild unknown animal cards, um, I call it a basic instinct spread because it really is to get to like the true animalistic nature, like bare bones of like what's going on here. Um, so your first card out that you have, this is your general energy, is the dragonfly. This is means like truth transcends illusions, right? So you really are trying to like figure out the truth of whatever situation you find yourself in, especially with all of this blue, right? That's that throat chakra. It's like, because, and because it's um kind of very contained, I feel as though you're not saying much. Um, and I'm almost very drawn to like his little feet. It's almost like trying to cling. This looks like a rabbit to me all of a sudden. I'm sorry, I didn't see that in before, but this looks like a, like a rabbit sitting, like there's some, there's a, a situation maybe, I don't know if you feel like it's fertile or it was fertile or, um, and now it's contained, but you're, you're trying to get a grip on something. You're trying to figure out the truth of something, trying to really figure out what is the truth versus what is fiction, what is fantasy in your head. And I'm looking, there's not a mall. I just got all these new plants. They're wonderful, but I'm looking, I have a money tree over here. It's a delight. Um, but, uh, there's like a, a piece of bark that's coming off it and it looks very much like a moth, which is like a surrender now energy um and you have that card later on in your spread too in reverse i digress so you are trying to get to like 
the truth of a situation. You're really trying to figure something out. Um, and then next out you have the gazelle, you have the hawk, and then you have the hummingbird. So this is like other, the gazelle is a fire energy. So it feels like you are a little fired up about a situation. Almost like, it feels like because you can't quite figure it out, like what happened here, but there's a lot of air energy, which is maybe why it's so layered. And I'm like talking really fast and I'm like trying to, I'm like, but there's so much here and I got to talk about this over here and over there. Like there's a lot, you're really in your headspace, Gemini. We got to, we got to woosa. We got to bring it on down a little bit, baby. So we went over the dragonfly. So we have the gazelle. This is an energy about being graceful, trying to be graceful in your circumstances, but also it's about being very much alert. And these antlers are very representative of like cycles, life cycles, time, divine timing for me. And again, it's like two, it's like that twin, like again, it's like 11. Um, and I have, I have a chakra necklace over here. It's, um, it's like the tree of life and like each, it, it goes according to the chakras and it, I tie it around a candle, tie a yellow ribbon around an old oak tree. It's been three long, three long years. Do you still miss me? Want me? Okay. Um, and it, I lighted, I lit these candles and it fell down. So there is an aspect and it's, it's reminding me of this. It's like, um, you're trying to maintain balance, trying to, you know, figure something out, but it feels like you're having a hard time doing that. And because you cannot figure out this person, this situation, a solution, it's throwing you out of balance a little bit, right? And again, it's like that witchcraft. It's almost like, I'm almost getting like, what's wrong with me? Like, what's wrong with me that this is like bothering me so much, right? And it's almost like you're trying to contain, right? Again, it's this lower shocker energy. So you're trying to like contain the chaos, controlled chaos in a situation, right? And you're trying to be very kind of like regal and graceful. And again, too, like balanced, choose about balanced through it. And then you have this hawk, right? This hawk is like normally a card about messages. You have this hummingbird. This, this hummingbird is often indicative of fertility, right? It's about um, pollination, you know, um, at, a, at a very quick rate. It's like a manifestation kind of energy. But it, interestingly enough, how is it on my board? It goes like this. These are actually coming like head to head, which is unusual because this is your general energy but I feel this hummingbird is a separate entity energy which again I think it's that witchcraft song it's that witchcraft energy like you feel like somebody put a spell on you or somebody said something to you and like it can't you can't like get it out of your head right or it's like there's maybe you're going around and things are reminding you of of a person of a place you used to be at a jot like there's something that's like you can't get it out of your head so it's actually like with it's actually inserted it's in your general energy right now but it's i digress we'll, we'll i'm gonna i'm gonna keep going I had a message but i'm gonna i'm gonna wait but it feels like these are coming kind of head to head right so we were talking about how this is you kind of trying controlled chaos trying to control these trigger moments control any aggressions any any feelings that you have that are a little unsavory right? Trying to maintain your gracefulness to that. But I feel as though the, the more that you're trying to do that, you're trying to maintain balance like that, like that necklace, it's, it's not working. It's not working for you right now, at least in the manner that you've currently been trying to do it, right? So maybe that's why, maybe it's because you needed a change of scenery. So maybe you made a decision, left a job, took a job, got new friends, whatever, whatever it is for you. I'm hearing no new friends by Drake. Okay. Um, Whatever it was, you thought it was going to bring you more balance and perhaps it, it threw you off a little bit. It did bring you the kind of balance that you thought it was going to. And, and, and it almost feels as though um, you're trying to bring messages to someone, but you, again, it's that containment. Like you don't really quite know what to say or how to say. So you're trying to figure it out before you kind of go in and do that. Because this is like, again, this is all the, the lower chakras. And with this black, I'm getting very much like shadow energy shadow energy and you those trigger points are almost like pushing you out of the nest right it's almost like um i don't know if it's self-soothing you're trying to push yourself into a new scenery thinking that it's going to make you feel better there's something like that but again because whatever this is person place job this is their energy it's in your energy right and this is them and it almost feels like coming head to head um like this is you so Whoever this is, they, you may perceive them as smaller than you, right? Because a hawk is very large. It's very powerful. It's got, it's got talons, right? I'm drawn back to these little legs here, right? It can really 
grasp on a thing. It is a predator air energy. But then you have this hummingbird. Hummingbirds are, are small and, and they're, they're sweet and they're just busy. They're just like busy like bees, right? And it's almost like head to head, like you're having a trigger moment and it's kind of pushing you in one direction. But meanwhile, the direction that you're being pushed to in, in terms of dealing with this hummingbird energy, if you notice here, again, it is this circle energy, but they're, whoever this is, is very much, whatever this place is, they're very much, um, they're very clear. They're very clear. And with all of the colors, it's telling me that they are actually balanced. Whatever it is, like you're triggered, but whatever you're going up against or you, you feel like you can't get out of your head, it's actually a, a pretty balanced energy. And it is a very fertile energy. It is like getting like busy as a bee, right? Like they're, they're moving a lot. They're doing a lot, whatever this is. And then I went to pull your general energy and the song by uh, the song by Manny Walters, it's called My Own Fault, right? So I'm getting the sense that whoever this was, whatever this place was, like they gave you advice, they gave you advice, they, they said something to you, it maybe it triggered you, whatever it may be. And I'm getting the sense that you didn't take, you knew better, you thought you knew better. So you didn't take that advice. Um, and it feels like maybe now you're kicking yourself about it, but you don't want to admit that. I'm also I'm getting a lot of green now. You can't really see it here, but there's there's like some green popping through. It's almost like a it's that heart shock, right? It like it hit you where it hurt a little bit. Um and in your general energy, you you have the elk and then you have the cobra and then you have this octopus. Now this this feels very much like the other person party situations energy. So this is a very um daddy of pentacles, daddy of pentacles. It's a very father of pentacles kind of energy for me. This is, and like I said, in your general energy, you have a little bit of fire from that trigger moment, but then you have dragonfly, hawk, and hummingbird. That's all air energy. So that's very indicative of you. You are an air sign. But in your general energy, there is earth, there is fire, and there is water. So it's everything that like you are not. It's so it's like an out, a fish out of water. It's like an out of your, out of your element in this situation, right? It's almost like you're, it's, it's almost like a little David and Goliath. Like you're, you're a little bit, bigger maybe you're stronger maybe you're you're more established in this place it could be a boss or a coworker, or a friend that was like maybe they don't have as much experience as you maybe they 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 don't they didn't go to school for what you did like they they don't have the background necessarily that you do but somehow like they got your number kind of thing and you're like how because this is um it's a very again it's very controlled right and again it's like these antlers it's like cycles it's it's divine timing right it's um but it's very focused. It's very contained. It's very contained, this energy. And it's also, it, again, it's that focus energy. It's like, again, it's like that head on. My camera's, it's not off to the side. It's not here. Like whatever the situ situation is, God, we got to chill with this air energy. Whoa, guys. Whoa. Um, it's like looking at you like head on. It's like, what? What are you going to do? Like I told you, like I told you, you shouldn't work here. Like I told you, you shouldn't do that. I told you, you should do that. Like, it's like a, a little bit of like, I told you so, but it's like killing them with kindness. It's that kind of energy. And then you have this octopus out, which is a water sign. Um, but in reverse, it becomes a fire sign. And I'm almost getting this octopus, like, cause the octopus is very indicative of like holding on to a lot of things at once. Right. It's, it's a little bit of like a clinging energy and I'm almost seeing it like release and almost like sink sink back down into the depths, sink back down into the depths. So it's like somebody said something to you, Gemini, it triggered you and you were like, I'm out of here. <laughs> like that's kind of the energy. You were like, I already know what I'm doing sort of thing. Like I'll go elsewhere. So you went elsewhere, you did your change of scenery, but it's not making you feel as balanced as you thought it would. And meanwhile, this, this other party is kind of a little bit standing standing strong like head on like I said what I said I meant what I said like I'll leave you to it it's like very much of like I'll leave you to it kind of energy because they're they are balanced like they are busy like they are doing things like they're they're very they're they're busy pollinating they're busy going around projects you know what I mean it could this could I'm I am picking up a lot of work energy here so they could be like if you don't listen to me like you wanted to put in your two weeks notice like because you thought you were gonna get a better job elsewhere like that's fine, but like I still have a, I still got a, a place to run. Like I still got things to do, um, sort of energy. It's very, very interesting. It's very, it's very, very interesting. And there was, there was another song that came up. 
it was like another like witchy kind of song. Um, I want to move into, I want to move into your strengths and weaknesses. So I pulled out, I went to pull out your strengths and they told me weaknesses. And normally I pull out the strengths on the left hand side and the weaknesses on the right hand side. And it was actually flipped. So in your, in your weaknesses, you have the horse, which is representative of freedom, right? And it's never a, a, a weakness to, to want to be free and live in your authentic truth. But it's almost like I'm hearing like out of the stable, like rushed out of the stable, like a power play power play you you have perhaps a tendency in um an effort to not let people control you or tell you what to do kind of thing because perhaps you you are a natural born leader gemini right um that sometimes you're i'm just getting i don't know like non non-committal there's there's an energy here of you how do i want to say this it's like you want to stand in your power, you want to stand in your freedom, but it's like it's like a running away kind of energy that instead of like dealing with things head on, right? Almost like sometimes the only way to get out of the chaos is to go through that sometimes it's like a fleeing. It's like a fleeing energy and you're like, well, I could do what I want, but there's, there's something in that for you. And then with the buffalo in reverse, this is very much of a like, again, it's like a head on, like I hear the thunder, I hear the lightning, I, I hear the rumbling, like I know it's coming. But this, again, it's like a very avoidant energy for the sake of independence. Like you're avoiding things potentially occasionally, thinking that it's you establishing your independence. Thank you. I was having trouble with that. Um, but in reality, it's you with this fox energy, like being a little sneaky, being a little sly. It's a little uh, seven of swords sneaking out the back door kind of energy with this earthworm to avoid kind of having to go through a full cycle, like close things out properly. Like you, you have to feel it to in order to to grow through it right you have to go through it to grow through it so that's that's a little bit of your weaknesses right now again like i said like this this new moon in cancer and we are in leo season now that it, it does bring a lot of things up to the surface a lot of that shadow energy for us to deal with it purge it out so that way we can move on with a fresh clean slate however in your strengths which are pretty cool you have two spirit cards again two <laughs> There's a lot of this. Um, there's two spirit cards. You have the dragon. So like spirit does have an eye out for you and you have the sea serpent. So this is like, whatever's going on, like you are protected in this energy. Spirit's got an eye on you for better, for worse. It's always for better, but it's like, they've got an eye on you to protect you while you're trying to work through these shadow aspects of yourself. But um, at the same time, they're also keeping an eye on you, like making sure like you want to, they're, they're trying to keep you on track, right? Because there's a death and rebirth energy kind of happening for you, but it is in your strength. So like spirits got your back. So don't think that, you know, they don't because they do. And in your strengths, which is interesting, you have the spider universe. This is a very pentacles kind of energy for you. Well, it's pentacles for you, but in general, it's very like eight of pentacles, like midnight workshop. It's about making plans. So it's like you aren't making plans before, again, you've, you've assessed, you've figured it out. It's like you're, you... One of your strengths is you not putting the cart before the horse, right? Like the horse is going, the horse is going, but the actual plans, the things that you're packing up and putting in the cart, you're not putting that before the horse. So that is good. You're not, um, it's, it's almost like you, you're not going to move any farther than you are right now until you figure out like what went wrong, right? And then you have the vulture, which is very much about like, cleansing clearing you know like clean it's almost like a very frog energy it's like cleaning out that clutter you you are you're not afraid of these darker aspects of yourself and um looking into them to figure out like what's the bare bones right because vultures pick pick things off the bones until they're clean so that again that is a very strong strength and then you have the eagle and this is again it could be like it is a very messenger energy but it's very much about truth justice i mean it's like very heavy justice energy so it's like you know, for the sake of like doing yourself, doing yourself justice, 1919, doing yourself justice that you're not going to move forward in any direction. Um, it's almost like until you consult with spirit, it's a sense of like almost back up against the wall. It's like that thing on your back, right? It's like, I don't know what to do. So it's like, I'm going to go to source because I need help in this situation because I can't figure it out. It's like, it's almost like you feel outmatched. You feel outmatched. And that was a song. It's, um, it was Witches, Bridge City Sinners has a song and it's called Witches Wrath. Witches Wrath is going on. Like, 
there's whatever's going on. Like I said, somebody, they're like, you need, you need to speak. I'm like, I don't want to speak. I don't want to say it. They're like, you better say it, Lauren. I'm like, okay. So whatever this is, right. So somebody gave you a piece of advice, Gemini. You didn't want to take it. Um, they got your number. You didn't realize that you were outmatched in this situation, right? You thought you knew better and perhaps you didn't. And we have all been there. We have all eaten our little slices of humble pie. Um, but now whatever that situation, that job, that employer, coworker, partner, whatever that was for you, they've again, released control. They've, they've dropped back down into the depths. So it's like, you can't really see them, but it's like, they got an eye on you. It's there. It's almost like a, don't come over here and mess with me kind of energy, right? It's like you stepped in it foot and mouth. Like you, you stepped in it, Gemini. And now I think that's why, I think that's why spirit might be keeping like an eye on you because with all this trigger energy going on, like there, there, there's a, there's a potentiality that like you might, you might act out of a trigger moment and get yourself stung. Right. And it's going to be no one's fault, but your own, no one's fault, but your own is what I'm hearing. So moving forward, the advice is with the butterfly and the Phoenix in reverse is telling me, dude, it's almost like I'm hearing like, don't touch it. Like, don't try and transform the situation. Don't look for like a rebirth here. What you need to be doing is looking at this out at your intuition. You need to reconnect with your intuition with this raccoon. This is um, a card about adaptability. It's about skillfulness, resourcefulness, right? It's like you need to go back into your intuition and figure out like what went wrong, what went wrong in this situation, like where, where you went wrong, right? Where you missed steps, because we've all done it, right? It's divine detours. This is how the universe works. Like, divine takes us down these little side roads sometimes and we're like what the happened is because like there were skills you needed there there were lessons you needed to learn because where you're going they these lessons are going to apply right but it's like you can't move on to the next level you can't get a real change of perspective you can't really see things head on when it's like you're you're all flared up you're all flared up with your trigger moments it's like you're you're flared up in your trigger moments and it's like you're all in your head and it's like you need to, again, it's those chakras, it's that necklace. You need to get everything back in balance, right? You are very skillful. You are very resourceful. You are very adaptable. But this is also a card very indicative of your shadow side. You need to use your intuition and figure out what in your past, in your childhood, your former relationships, your, your job history, what made you take the turns that you needed, that you took, and I said needed, that you obviously needed to take them, right? Because again, there are lessons you needed to learn here that kind of made you run a little bit for the hills. And I was pulling your advice and then I, I felt the need to pull more cards and I heard, because if you don't. And it's very rare. I've, I don't think I've ever done a spread. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done a spread where there were cards pulled for if you don't take the advice. But I think because you didn't take the advice of whatever was before, and this also could just be like your intuition, like your intuition told you something, maybe not another person necessarily, but your intuition told you something and you didn't listen to yourself, which is maybe why they want you to go back in and reconnect. Um, feel good on my can. It says feel good. You just want to feel good again. You just want to feel good again because there's something on your back, Gemini. But if you don't take this advice, with the fish in reverse is saying, if you don't take this advice and like go in, do your homework, figure out like what happened to you that upset you so much, it's going to affect your flow and abundance. It's going, because again, this is that moth energy. It's that, so this is a surrender now. You're going to, it's going to affect your abundance. It's very, this is very four of pentacles in reverse. It's you're going to hold on to stuff you don't need to be holding on to. Thinking with this wolf card, emperor energy, that you're standing in your power when in reality, you're holding on to things. You're not expressing them. You're not dealing with them. It's a controlling kind of energy, which is not who you really are, right? The zebra is very much about individuality. It's very much about you being your unique self, right? Your third eye in a very black and white world. And with this nightingale, again, it's like you're going to be expressing with that throat chakra, kind of singing a song that is not your melody. Maybe that's why you have all these like channeled songs coming in for you, but it's going to affect your flow and abundance. You're going to be holding on to stuff in a way, thinking that it's, again, this controlling, like in, I have to, I have to maintain control, controlled chaos of this situation, but it's just almost like, it's just going to eat you up and it's not really who you are. And you're going to be saying things that maybe aren't really true for you. It's you're going to be speaking a truth that isn't really yours. 
And I'm getting with this lizard card, like scaly, you're going to come off scaly and cold and hard and very almost like reptilian when you're not. Your true nature isn't that. So if you don't take this advice and almost like take a time out and deal with this, that's what's going to happen. And the shark energy, it's like you're just going to end up pushing this stuff down. It's just going to end up being more submerged, right? And it's almost like, it's like I'm getting like a stalking. Like this problem is just going to stalk you in different faces, different places, different situations until you learn that. And you're going to think that you're going to be doing all of this, reacting in such a way because of your intuition. Like, no, this is what my intuition told me to do. But the fact that this crow, it's so black. It's like, again, it's like all of this shadow energy. Your ego likes to pretend like it's your intuition all of the time. It's happened to me a million times. And I have to be like, wait a second. No, 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 no. Like, this is my shadow side. This is my ego talking. This is not actually my higher self, my intuition. The, your ego likes to likes to pretend to be your intuition, but it is not. And what's going to happen is with the swan in reverse, instead of self, it's going to be more submersion of your problems, of your pains, your traumas, right? Then it is actually going to be self-reflection. And then I, I did get that Bridge City Sinner songs, which is wrath. Um, you will incur some kind of wrath from this because it's, you... You picked a partner you didn't know how to dance with. There's, there's like, again, it's this, you, you thought, you, you thought wrong, whatever it was. Like you thought the situation was beneath you. You could handle it. Like you could move on, like grass is greener on the other side kind of thing. And someone was like, I don't know about that Gemini. And you were like, well, I'm out, I'm going, you know, and like, it could be, this is very general. I could play it in a lot of different ways, but it's you, you didn't, I'm getting, you didn't know who you were messing with kind of thing, which I, again, is like all this protection energy, which is why they're like, don't fucking touch it. Like, don't touch it. Leave it alone. Leave it alone because you're going to get stung and you, you're outmatched for this. Like this is again, all this air energy, there's fire, what there's, this is not your element. This is not your, this is not your playground. So you need to go do your homework, go work on your own stuff. And that way you can move forward with a, with a clean fresh start wherever with whoever wherever whatever Gemini but you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to do this dance with this cobra with this elk with this hummingbird you you don't want to do that you don't want to play you don't want to play these games getting foolish games wicked games what's the song wicked games who sings that I don't know so you got two cards two crystal cards which I felt very pulled very drawn to pull for you. You got black tourmaline, which is card number one, and you got charlite. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that right. And that's card 50. Again, it's like these one fives, these one fives, and one's a very individual number and five is the number of change, right? So this is change that you need to do on a personal level for yourself. So I want to read these for you. It's story time with Lauren B. Crystal story time. It's unusual. You know, a lot of times I do these readings and it's, Especially in the last couple of weeks, it's been a, a lot of like environmental things have been happening and, 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 and my peeps have really just been kind of trying to deal with that. But this is an unusual situation, at least it's a newer situation, because it feels like you guys were a little bit mistaken, right? So this is, but this is what we do here. Part of what we do here is personal development. This is, we're doing shadow work. This is the season of shadow work. So I might do a video on it, but... I digress. Black tourmaline. Protection. You need, to, you, need to pr you need to protect yourself. Again, right? Black tourmaline absorbs negative energy and, and affords excellent energetic protection, enhancing your physical vitality. Because again, this, whatever this is, it's very much in your energy, but it's released itself from you. But whatever it is, like I said, it triggered you, so it's sticking with you. So it's almost like you're, you're forcing it into your own energy field, and it's, it's not yours anymore it's not yours anymore you don't work there anymore you're not with this person anymore you're not hanging out with these people you release this project and whatever it is like like i said hummingbird energy it's 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 busy it's it's gone but you you need to work through it because it's still in your force field you're keeping it in your force field and your higher self is doing or your shadow self is doing it for a reason because you need to learn um you gonna learn today you are adaptive, adjusting to new places and new situations. You have clarity of thought and analyze situations rapidly. Let go of overcautiousness, but stay protected. 
You sense it when people wish you ill. You may be carrying a family or past life curse, <sighs> creating dis-ease, recognizing the negative thought. It's almost like a piling up energy. It's not just almost like this was like the cherry on top, right? It was almost like this was the trigger moment, whatever this was for you, but the chamber was already loaded. So this might have just been like the last domino for you that made you kind of freak out a little bit. You sense it when people wish you out. You may be carrying a family or past life curse, creating disease. Recognize that negative thoughts and actions harm others and yourself. Strengthen your protection. Consolidate plans and be realistic. You'll soon see your way through obstacles. Ensure you are well protected. Ill wishing or envy may be directed your way. Neutralize bad energy without harm to others. Watch your thoughts. Attend to practical matters. Be generous and give others freedom. Not just yourself, but others. Again, don't hold on to things. Neutralizing toxic energies from your environment, shielding yourself from ill wishing or EMF stress, and detoxifying your body supports well-being. That's what it was. I have a bunch of sage I'm trying to get through because sage is endangered and I'm trying not to use it anymore. But I have um, a eucalyptus sage stick over here. And um, sim symbolically, uh, eucalyptus is very indicative of um, cleansing yourself spiritually. And then you have charlotte charlotte and again it's all this green and purple it's like that it's like that crown chakra your intuition like connecting back to source with these two spirit cards it's very what are you a scorpio it's like a freaky little reading for you it's very unusual and it's still that's interesting okay so th this is the first card in the deck and this is the last card in the deck and normally when i do the i just wanted to keep this short we know that doesn't work here. Normally when I do these readings, I normally do the air signs last. N not on purpose, but just that's how kind of the tarot works, right? Pentacles is the seed. Then you water it with the water signs. And then you use the sun to grow it, fire signs. And then, you know, the air is the harvest. It's the sword energy, right? So you harvest it down. And so it's funny because the, the last sign I normally do is the first sign or the last element I do is the first one. And normally I do earth first and I have the sense that earth is going to be last. So it's we're Missy Elliot-ing it over here. Flip it and reverse it. Moving on. Charoite. Wound healing. Charoite provides deep physical and emotional healing. Transmuting negative energy, it converts dis-ease to wellness. With its assistance, you recognize that your greatest trauma is also your most profound gift. Accept it with grace. Charoite re-energizes, heals, and integrates dualities, twins, healing past life dis-ease carried into the present life. Deep fears and, and um, schisms pervade your being. You may not feel that you belong on earth, alienated, and insecurity lie beneath a deceptively calm surface. You are subtly driven by other people's thoughts and programs rather than your own. Remember with that nightingale energy? Your automatic nervous system may be malfunctioning. If so, it needs recalibrating, rebalancing. Take time to control. You are undergoing a vibrational change, creating links to higher realities. Visions of past life suggest ways to redress karmically, personally, and collectively. In accepting the present moment as perfect, you create the space to heal. Right? So it's like I said, this feels like whatever this was for you, um, it, it did feel like the last domino. It wasn't the first domino that like kicked everything off. I think maybe you thought it was, but in reality, what you thought was the first was actually the last. It was the last straw for you that kind of cracked open your shadow and brought up all these triggers for you. But, and again, tis the season for it, my, my Jaminis, my sweet Jaminis. But this is the time to do the shadow work. If you have the time, if you have the solitude, if you have the new, the new environment, the new space, whatever it may be, take it, feel it. It sucks. It hurts. It's painful. You're going to spend a couple of days crying on the floor. You're going to feel uncomfortable, body aches, right? But the point of it is, is to kind of shake, shake it all out for yourself. So that way you, your energy is fresh, cleaned, healed. You're healed. That way you can rise. You can ascend. I'm getting, I'm garnering with, with all of these spirit cards that you are fixing to have a new awakening, a new ascension. But in order to do that, you need to you need to get through, right? I'm getting almost like bottom up energy from a Scorpio reading I did like months ago. It's you, you could be like dealing with somebody that has Scorpio on their chart. You could have lost Scorpio on your chart, um, but or in a strong placement, just in a strong placement. I'm hearing, 
Um, but it's, it's that bottom up energy, right? We got to deal with the triggers, patch up those potholes. So that would leave a strong foundation in which to build on. This is what it's all about. My sweet, sweet babies. None of us are perfect. I've stepped in it a million times. I have ignored my intuition a thousand times. I have not taken advice I needed to. I have taken advice I shouldn't have taken, right? This is how we learn. This is how we grow. This is why we go down divine detour so that we, we can put tools in our toolbox because we're going to need them to build what we want where we're meant to be. So I love you guys. I'm going to try and link some of those songs in the description box if I remember, but I'm all up in your energy. So my head's a little bit everywhere. Um, everything else you need should be in the description box. All the decks I use, my email, my Instagram, my Twitter, personals are open. Also, a lot of you guys just email me just to like ask questions and chat and I love it. I absolutely love it. And I love all of you guys. And I'm so grateful to have you here and to have all your support and have everybody in, in our little beehive, right? I absolutely adore you. From the bottom up, I adore you. So take care of yourself. Be well. And I will see you next time, Gemini. Go do your homework. Good night.